friends and welcome back to Bioshock on Christmas. <laughs> so happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I hope you are and will continue to have an amazing holiday season. Now back to Bioshock on Christmas. <laughs> so in our last video, we were given the goal that we need to become a big daddy. And I'm hoping it's like temporarily become a big daddy, but I have a very, very bad feeling that it's permanently become a big daddy because it's rapture and all things awful have happened here. But anyway, our latest update is that Fontaine has hidden in the big daddy training grounds. You'll need to become a big daddy yourself in order to pursue him. And we need to search the labs for all that we need because we need some samples and we need to look like a big daddy and sound like a big daddy and the samples we need are to smell like a big daddy that should I should probably finish that thought process but I left off at autopsy so let's go here and and try to be efficient and not get distracted by shiny and maybe not obsessively loot even though I totally will because I would like I hope maybe for um oh oh hang hang on where's the fuzzy over here, maybe? Please, Papa Sucho. I don't want to go on the tail. Oh, no. <gasps> she doesn't want to go on the table. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. There's all the little sisters. Oh, I need to... I want to save them. What's happening? <laughs> like, what is happening? <laughs> Look, slicers. I have a goal today. I would I would like for Christmas to to finish Bioshock. That's what I'm trying to say. And you guys keep distracting me. But anyway, safe cracker too. Are your enemies trying to lock away what's rightfully yours? Don't let them keep your hard-earned goods. Get them back with the new safe cracker too. Hacksmart wants you to get what's coming to you. Do I have this one already? Oh, I do. There we go. And look, a big daddy pheromone sample. Yum. Apparently it stinks really bad. But yes, I would like to try to finish up Bioshock on Christmas, but that's gonna require me to focus. So, let's try. Okay, now I need to try to get into all these rooms here, and I think I got into most of them, but that one I could get into, and that one, but then there's a couple over here that I can't get into. This one here. Um, but there are stairs upstairs, because that's how that works. <laughs> What is with all the noise? Oh, another pheromone sample. Every day. She always <laughs> Did you just really like teleport onto the pipes? Hold on, it's kind of awesome. Ooh. Recordings, that's important. You definitely need all of those. Why just girls? I know why it has to be children, but why just girls? This I cannot determine why, but I know it is so. Fontaine says, ah, oh, one less bathroom to build in the orphanage. It is amazing to watch the effect of Adam on their small bodies. Their own cells replaced by the new stems the instant they are damaged. These children are practically invulnerable. It is a shame you could not do the same thing to an adult. There would be quite a market for a man you could not kill. Nope, oh, nope, I didn't need that one. <laughs> I'm trying to get to my... Hmm, mind control is F4. There we go. Oh, not mind control. Telekinesis. Yeah, it is interesting that it is just girls. Are you coming up here? I, I would really like to not get distracted, please. Okay. Pheromones. It could start. 
Now you need only to find the bodysuit and the voice box from the other lab, and you will be a proper brute. Get moving. Okay, I, I will. You're playing a bad hand, kid. You're just too spliced to smell it. Roll on back to Mother Goose now, or evidence gonna go busto. <laughs> I wanted to figure out which one I need to jump into, and I think it's this one here. I'm already like missing people standing right in front of me. <laughs> this is gonna be a great day. What? On earth? I think she took it a little too seriously. Is this not the one I needed to jump in to get into? No, it was this one right here. Okay. Hang on, let's try this again. Oh, not that one. This one. Maybe. First aid kit. Sure. Thank you. Interesting. And then there was one more over here. I like how my electricity doesn't do anything anymore. It's this one here. Number seven. And then did you see they've got the creepy, like, televisions to sit at their desk and watch them because looking over is apparently t they can't be asked to do that. Oh. Oh, these poor kids. Oh, these poor kiddos. They need to be saved. Oh, my. I can get out at least. Okay, so... Update. We need to sound like a big daddy and look like a big daddy. That's all that's left. And there are paths up here, I think, to maybe where I need to go, perhaps? Maybe? Main hall. So I'm in this section now. Okay. So let's hang out and go left, maybe? Let's start there. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, I hear Big Daddy, and I have two more little sisters to get. Andrew Ryan asks you a simple question. Are you a man or a slave? I can smell another angel. Save you, don't worry. No, 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 you. Here is where you'll be finding the voice box to have sound like one of those big daddy. Mm. Oh, okay. Creatures. Thank you, mister. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I guess we'll do this one first then, since we're already here. Let's go sound like a big daddy. Yay. Just what I always want. Just what I wanted for Christmas. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Time for bay by Decontamination Mr. process. <laughs> Scare the crap out of me. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of the cameras right now. What's in here? Ooh, there's a safe over there. Um, okay. Let, um, let's, let's not go that way. Let's go this way. Oh. Now, let me out. Live subject testing? Live subject testing. Or voice boxes? I don't, like... What is that all about? <laughs> There's so much wrong in this place. Um. Aha! I see it. Ooh, and you invent. Let's use my automatic hack tool. And then make one. 
I feel like I make more than one when I make them now because of one of the plasmids that I have installed. You think turning yourself into one of those tin men is a two-way street? The crowd's holding auditions for the Frankenstein parade, and you're first in line. Thanks. You're, you're so cheerful with all of your updates. All right, hang on. Let's finish exploring, then I'll grab the voice box. Maybe. Alarm Expert 2. Are your hacks still being interrupted by alarms? Then you need Alarm Expert 2 today. A hack smart gene tonic. Alarm Expert. Doesn't look like I have it equipped, and that's okay. What is with all this new beeping and booping going on? <laughs> I'm turning into a big daddy, not R2-D2. <gasps> Voice box modification prototype. Amazing. Look at you. We will make big daddy out of you yet, I think. But there's only one piece missing. The body suit. Go to fail-safe armored escort. Okay. Yep, I just need to look like a big daddy now. Am I gonna start groaning when I walk? <laughs> Cause that would gotta be funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, holy crap. just fine when someone doesn't say go. Thank you very much. I do sound like a big daddy. I was thinking damage and I groan like a big daddy. Oh my. I'm gonna be stuck this way forever. It's mama. Come on. Oh, that's mine, I'm not Ryan sent over extra munitions. He must have suspected trouble. I will lock them up near the protector labs and set the code to 1921. I don't expect we'll ever be needing them though. Once Big Daddy is ready, nobody crossed the Big Daddy. Yeah, but the Big Daddy crushed you because you were being mean to a little sister. I mean, I'm just saying he might have deserved that. Wanna finish exploring over here. Backup generator. Look around you, kid. You think two bit heroics count for a fig in this pit? You're staring down the puke stain of Ryan's busted dream. You think there's something worth saving down here? And you deserve to goggle with the rest of these scrubs. I'm slightly concerned about going in the water and being electrocuted to death. So, yeah. Eugenic analysis? The parasite eats three things. Three miles, three bills, and three eggs. <laughs> Did he just say it's so unsanitary? I mean, it is so unsanitary down here. You guys have turned this place into a dump. And it's leaking everywhere. Go to failsafe armored escort. I know. I will get their game. You just need to give me a minute. Ooh, power to the people. Some sanitary. <laughs> it is. You are so very unsanitary, sir. Oh, and I'm out of money already. Dang it. We're not out of money. I'm full up on money already. That's the right word. I think I'm good on my jeans. Let's act to save. 
Ooh, I need napalm. Okay, power to the people. I have one left. Increase my pistol damage. Not that I think I will ever use it. The machine gun is just too lovely. The flamethrower is awesome. I can! A big daddy. <laughs> I'm stuck this way, aren't I? Test subject storage? Are there like bodies of people in here? Oh, look. Marketing gold. I'll admit Fontaine showed some foresight when he built up the plasmid business, but the man really never understood sales. Hiding those little girls beneath a bushel. I've just seen the preliminary design work on the new plasmid machines, and they're exactly what I wanted. Mark my words. Presented properly, those little sisters are marketing gold. You're so horrible. I can't believe you're my character's dad. I can't believe he created me, or like. Let them mind control your kid. Well, then again, it was Fontaine, not not my father. But like he found out about it, and still like I'm still so confused on why he, you know, and <laughs> made me kill him. Okay, I gotta figure out. Well, that was close. Okay, this was the security place. What is that? Temporary generator override. Ah! Let me out! Let me out! There's a safe that needs a kraken in there. Oh! Ah! Stop scratching on your bed! Shut the door! You stench! Yeah. Oh, you guys knocked up over all the stuff now. Come back! Not that I need the money or the incendiary bolts. Oh, so nice. Ooh, feels so warm. Atlas is a friend of the parasite. Don't be a friend of Atlas. Yeah, don't be a friend of Atlas. Ah, turn back on. Okay. Well, I feel like we. We finished exploring everything we need to for optimized eugenics, maybe, or this area, whatever this area is called. I feel like optimized genetics is not the correct name. Shame things turn out this way, kid. You and me could have run the table in this place. Now there's nothing left for you but a long, cold nut. Oh, there's a door here. I almost missed that. Fontaine's little sister orphanage. Fontaine Futur Futur Futuristics Genetic Research. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, because so Fontaine faked his death. Ryan took over all his stuff and just basically rebranded everything. All right, so what is over here? Okay. Aha, I was not faked by your... I need to find a... I need to find a vending machine, desperately. So 
downstairs, downstairs. What's the matter? Now? Obviously. You look like you could use a boost. I feel so great. I'm busy. I'm not sure. Somehow, I can't see things that aren't there. That's just the plasmid blues, Mary. You just need to slow down a bit on the splice. Okay, the there's garden. Great. Right as rain. Is there anything new here we should get? Health upgrade. Maximum health has been increased. Eve upgrade. Okay, let's see. Hacking expert, human inferno. Take much less damage from fire. I feel like I should get that. Human inferno 2, hotter than ever. And there. And then... I was in field? No, I don't feel like I use any of the rest of stuff regularly, so there's no point in getting it. Oh, poor Big Daddy suit control system. Hmm, it's a big area, and I still gotta come back here and do this section. But big area over here, and I gotta get over here as well. But we're getting there. We're making progress. We're doing good. After Ryan takes this place, here is where they build their filthy golems. Frankenstein's. Find the pieces of this suit. Guide the little ones. More boobs going on. I know I can have the bots go with me, but they're really loud. <laughs> like, they're really, really loud. This sparkly over here, buckshot. I'm using. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I apologize to the inanimate robot. Okay, let's go. Go around this way. Oh, get it, get a little sister. There's a hole right here. Go wake her up. I'll wait. Come on! Oh. I guess not. That's unfortunate. Am I gonna have to go, like, in the water? To get to where I'm going? Candidate conversion? Oh my. Are down. I mean, let's be. It's kind of cute. The boots. I was sure the boots would be here. What did she say? Crap. What did she say? Um. Now let's notes. Proving grounds. Pen and bomb. Why just no? Nope. Mm. The boots. I was sure the boots would be here. Oh, shit. oh that was it. All right, hang on, little sister. She's so sad. I know, sweetie. No, 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 no. Thank you. wounded well, Thank you. How can I thank you for this? Send another little one with a token of our appreciation. Okay, you're welcome. Not that I need any of the stuff that's here, but... We'll, we'll, we'll double check just in case. But look! Little sister's all found! Yay! Completion done! Ooh! Missing boots. Well, how convenient. <laughs> God damn it! The big daddy boots need to be shipped here, not the damn it diapery. What kind of idiot is just Ryan hiring in our dates? This kind of bullshit never happened on the Fontaine. <laughs> I'll admit Fontaine showed some foresight when he built up the plasmid business, but the man really never understood sales. 
hiding with those little girls beneath the bushel. I've just seen the preliminary design work on the new plasma machines, and they're exactly what I wanted. Mark my words, presented properly, those little sisters are marketing gold. I have no idea why that just played again, but thank you for the additional updates. I also don't know why it's still on my screen. Mm. Oh, it went away, finally. Should I not grab the gloves as well? Oh, file cabinets. Not that I need any of this stuff, but machine gun rounds is always good. Apparently I'm full up on alcohol as well. Okay, so the boots are in the library. That's what I got out of all of that. <laughs> Where am I going now? Okay. No question. Oh, I need a better gun, a range gun. Up or down? I see a glowing yellow over there, so maybe we'll go this way. Candidate conversion. Okay, that's... Alright, now I'm sort of understand where I am. Hmm. Oh, there's a vending machine over there I need to get to into these areas. Oh, there's stairs. Hmm. Let's go upstairs here. Okay. Yeah, let's do this area. Sir, I think you may have... Whoa, drank too much. Just like I... <laughs> well, it is Christmas, right? <laughs> Ooh. Protect her smell. Big daddy. Make a terrible stink. Very smelly. Maybe something can be done. But the little sisters seem to like Oda. Now we have to find the recruits. You become Big Daddy, it's a one-way street. But Ryan says don't worry. Recruits will be no problem. That Ryan. <laughs> He's a good guy. It's a one-way street. I was right. I'm stuck this way, aren't I? I just... Okay, was there any purpose to this? Ooh, ammo. I'm waiting for the betrayal from Tenenbaum. I'm waiting for it to happen. I feel like it's coming. Protecting little ones. Japanese kill every man in my city, except for Su Chong. Su Chong have opium. Very good opium. This war, terrible thing too, but not for Su Chong. Everyone's scared now. Everyone need Adam. More than little sisters can make. Good news is war makes lots of corpses. Su Chong knows a way to recycle Adam from corpses, but can't send a little sister out the street unprotected. Suchong must think on this. Suchong is extremely messed up. Okay, so I started on these stairs and came out here. Okay. And then behind me is Candy Conversion, but what is this over here? Hmm. I must have done that already. Right? I must have. <laughs> All right, napalm, machine gun rounds. Sure, we'll get some more of those. That. Okay. This is where you find the body suit. Ah. You know, you should be thanking me. I brought you here. I showed you who you are. Nobody never told you nothing but lies till I come along. Oh, so you're the saintly helper. Is that what's going on? 
Big Daddy Bodysuit gives you a 25% resistance to all damage. Something tells you you're going to need it. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Bassy Scoots, we will make disgusting Frankenstein out of you yet. There is helmet and pair of boots, and we will be, how you say, in the business. Look around you. There's nothing to save. Rapture's a mausoleum, a goddamn cemetery funhouse. And you and the crowd, it's just ghosts. Just a matter of time till you realize it. You know, I would, I just want to, I just want to punch you in the face. Repeatedly until you stop moving. Because <laughs> you're a monster! Where am I at now? Okay, I'm on the other side. There's this little room here, though. Oh, I see. There's one here. One. Oh, okay. F7. There we go. But in the end, our choices make us. What does it do? Oh, cheap son of a bitch. Fontaine, scary son of a bitch. But Ryan, cheap son of a bitch. <laughs> you can no reuse protector suit. Pega man, graft the skin and organs straight into suit. Otherwise, your suit will not work. Ryan say Big Daddy too expensive. Ryan can go suck an egg. <laughs> You can go suck an egg. Oh, that's great. Um, you are grafted into your suit. Oh. I guess I can't go out that way. Okay. What's over here in this room? Oh, the code. Um, enter code. One nine two one, maybe? One nine two one. Nice. Okay, let's reload. We'll grab some Eve. Wonderful. So we need a helmet and some boots still. What? I don't understand the purpose of the control console being here if I can't click on it. Clean this place. Okay, I've clearly missed the helmet somewhere. Crawling. Crawling. So, hmm. Yeah, I've come through here. I didn't go to the other side, though. Or did I? What is... Can it conversion? Hmm. Maybe it was over here I haven't been to? Canada induction. Oh. Guardian conversion A. I love how the game reminds me to reload my weapon more often. <laughs> oh, here we go. Helmet. I turn tail if I were you, kid. Ain't nothing here for you but tears. Thanks. You're so helpful. Oh. <laughs> oh look at you. You look just the same as those. Oh, what things we have done. What things. <sighs> now the boots. So, like, is it that she genuinely feels bad? Or is she just upset because her and Fontaine, like, broke up or whatever? The Hacker's Delight 3. Ultimate development of the Hacker's Delight line. This will make every hacker a healthy hacker. Hacker's Delight 3. I feel like I don't have that. And I don't. Store. Thank you. That's just, I just, I kind of wonder, like, are you, are you really sorry? Or are you sorry you got caught? Because there's a difference. <laughs> oh, I sound, I love, 
like I got like the porthole kind of view now. So stuck this way. And I do still wonder, I'm not sure if I've said it. I don't know why Tenenbaum just can't send down one of the little sisters that I've already saved to take me to wherever it is they need to take me to. Like why, why is that? <laughs> why, why can't we just, you know, do it the easy way? Suit assembly. Okay. Hello, fellow Big Daddy. Hello, sir. <laughs> Groaning and wandering around looking for a little sister. Oh, sorry, little sister. You scared me. I'll take one of your hearts. And, 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 Adam, first aid kits I don't need. <laughs> and I don't need anything here. Enraged target causes you to attack someone other than you. Target dummy, cyclone trap. I don't think I have that equipped. Machine buster. Oh, that'd be nice, machine buster. But I don't think I have it equipped. So, um, we'll put it here. I don't think I need the My photographer's eye anymore. Is that a big turtle? The fossils are really kind of cool. Aha, the library. Memorial Library. Okay, he's definitely dead. Just gotta make. Oh, 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 I right hear. I hear something. Oh, there it is. The camera. <laughs> Parts of the camera are blocking it. Who keeps a missile launcher? In a library! Just saying, that's so messed up. That's empty. Good there, and good there, and good there. Any recordings? I would love another recording or two. Why are you here? Damage research two. Hit him where it hurts and hit him hard. New damage research two lets you exploit your enemy's weaknesses even more than before. Ooh, I feel like I have that equipped. I do. I'm all about killing enemies faster and easier. All right, boots. Yes. Now this is a big daddy. Are you ready? Now go to the little sister vent by the proving grounds. I got rapture now. <laughs> I got the atom now. You think that pill suits even half enough to put the scare in me? I'm laughing because clung 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 clung. Any recordings anywhere? Are you trying to? I'm a big daddy, madam, now. <laughs> Edit that last one out. Oh, uh oh. Yep, you died. You know why? I'm a big daddy now, that's why. <laughs> All right, where do I need to go? Now that you're a big daddy, you can pursue Fontaine through the proving grounds. Yay! Just what I always wanted to do. So I need to go, oh, right nearby. Stairs to there, and then I'm where I need to go. Clung, clung, clung. <laughs> All right. Let's go get ourselves a little sister. Where are you gonna go? Your life? 
They're a fairy tale, kid. No more real than something you read about in the Saturday Evening Post. Poor bastard. A motherless freak, whipped up in a half-baked science experiment. You know, I'll take my fake life over living here any day of the week. <laughs> you need to bring them out of hiding and then they'll let you in the door. Go on, hit the vent with your wrench. Oh, okay. With my wrench, you say? It would mean very much to me if you will be gentle with the girl. My kleines Mädchen. I have my own little sister now. Let's save. I feel like it's been quite a while since I saved. <laughs> and I don't need to redo all that. There's a big daddy looking for you, little sister. Let's go. A bulkhead to proving ground. Ooh. Another zone. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God, it's so big. Well, we'll see what we can get through today. The little ones will lead you to Pompeii. Hurry, Mr. But you must protect them. I can see the angels dancing in the sky. Can, can you? Dancing in the sky. And my sound is being wonky again. That's it, kid. Don't be a it's slow a long road. road. You don't even remember Angels most of it. Put you on a sub when you adjust the sprout. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Alright, I've had to reload my whole game. So hopefully the sound is better. I'm coming, little sister. Anything useful here? Besides the auto hack tools? I ain't room for one more, right? I can see the angel. You can! The sky. Where 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 are we supposed to be going? That's not the map. There's the map. Over there. But I there's stuff over here I gotta look at. What's the matter, Frank? Fix this thinning here. Hurry! Every day is less and less. You know the problem's not in your Aha! Let's see if I can buy anything. Buddy knows. Come to Genetic Horizons for a trial of fresh air. Fresh air is not only giving you a full head of thick hair, but it's 100 percent safe. It's totally safe. Your genetically altered hair. I'm sure it's fine. No, I need to pick up the one off the ground. Thank you. All right, little sister. Angels don't wait for small folks. Oh, they don't. Good, good to know. friends. I come now the game's giving me all kinds of um auto hack tools. I'm like I don't need them though. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm sorry. I just want to I want to ooh. Okay, we're doing it. Oh, I missed. Oh, we go back over there and oh, we'll worry about it later. Hurry, Mr. B. Creativity, independence, ascendancy, and more creativity. <laughs> Time to go, Mr. I really wound you up for that wife and child bit. Yeah. Oh, me poor Moira, baby, wee baby, Patty. <laughs> family. They 
play well with them suckers. <laughs> don't be a slowpoke, Mr. B. <laughs> <laughs> I love don't wait for slowpoke. I love all these little kids telling me off as I'm 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 exploring. Come back, please! No. Okay, I'm ready to go. Walk faster. Test subject number one. What? Hurry, Mr. B. Angels are waiting for our kitchen. Oh. Oh, Mr. Oh, B. Look at them. We hit the jack. Even though they are physically free as they need I'm to gather, Tu Chung's mental Time conditioning go, still B. holds them to their terrible task. Or still such a few. You can never atone. Hop, hop, Mr. B. No time to waste. Sweetie, it's time to go. It is pretty. Hurry, It's time to go. Let's go now, sweetie. Six, three, two, is Special. Mm. It looks so nice. Hop, hop, Mr. B. I'm no waiting on you, me. little sister. Oh, now, now we're done. Oh, now you're done. Well, now I need to get more ammo because you took so dang long doing whatever it is that you need to do over there. Okay, hang on. I'm the slowpoke. Angels don't wait for slowpoke. And you're an angel, right? Or no, wait, the dead bodies are the angels. That's that's what's going on here. Hurry, Mr. B. I can see the angels. Dancing in the sky. I like how she's cheering me on now. Hop, hop, Mr. B. No time to wait. Okay. Come on. Freaking cameras. Time to go, Mr. B. Bubbles. Oh, we're going that way? Watch out! I can the smell. Control oh. The oh. We're doing this again? Angels don't wait for Slowpoke. Yes, Slowpoke. I'm a Hurry, hurry, Mr. Bubbles. Go oh, mining your way. There she is. Hurry, Mr. B. Angels are waiting for us. I really do like that one a lot. <laughs> I get no loot, but I do like it. Hurry, <laughs> Mr. B. I can see the angel dancing in the sky. That's F6. Okay. Time to go, Mr. B. Uh-oh. He looks pissed at us. Time to go, Mr. B. He's like, give me my little sister. You stole her from me. Hurry, Mr. B. I can see the there we go. Got him that time. A rapture reminder. Where's the thing? There we go. Oh no! Look, he got smushed by a 
Stay on the level. A fossil! Thing's freaking huge! Hurry, Mr. B. Gene Bank, I think we're fine. Um. Ooh. Time to go, Mr. B. All right, let me save. We're getting there, I think. Hmm. We got a lot to still explore, little sister. Like a lot. Again. Don't be a slow Can we like slow down a little bit? I got him. Hurry, hurry, Mr. Bubbles. Hurry! Did it have anything to draw the attention of this fighter? Hurry, Mr. B. Yeah, I'm not like keen about this either, lady. Don't be a slowpoke. Angels don't wait for slowpokes. This kid. <laughs> I mean, this kid. I Probably should have hacked that. Go, Honey. Are we done now? Can we please leave? No time to wait. Gung, 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 gung. I know they don't wait for slow folks, and I'm a slow folk. Okay. All right, we managed to get up here. Now we're gonna go over here, maybe, and do all these, perhaps. No. Don't be a slow poke, Mr. Ow. I'm sorry, Big Daddy. I'm sorry I stole your little sister from you, but like... Better for the girls to be with you. Better with you than alone. Alone in the crawling darkness. Uh-huh. What's in here, though? Hurry, Mr. B. Angels are waiting for our kisses. It's just so messed up. <laughs> it's just so wrong. Time All to right. go, Mr. B. Ha! I might be plenty for the wicked scrubs and a pencil pushes, but I need more. More! Okay, crazy. <gasps> Look, we explored. Look how fast I explored that map. Wow, but the little sister was nagging me quite, quite heavily. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Leave my sister alone. Fontaine is nearby. You are reaching close now. There's lots of stuff here. 
Is it possibly because um, my big boss battle's coming up? You must use the needle of the little sister to drain Fontaine of his atom. It is the only way to defeat him. Okay. Take this. Okay. <laughs> Dig it in the bad man. That's hilarious. Alright, I feel like I'm full up on everything. Let's, um. Let's have this one out. I do like this one. I feel like this one might be useful. Pick up the needle. Oh, thank you. Fontaine waits above. There will be no going back from here. <sighs> Make sure you are ready to face him before moving on. Oh, well, I'm technically a time, but I think we're going to push through. We're going to push through and see what happens. So this could be an extra long Christmas video today, but it'll be fine. What's my latest update, though? Take the elevator to confront Fontaine. The elevator at the end of the Proving Grounds will take you to Fontaine. Be prepared before you leave, as there will be no returning from this fight. Okay, here we go. I remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more than two. You were my ace in the hole. But you were also the closest thing I ever had to a son. No. And that's why this hurts. Betrayal, kid. Life ain't strictly business. I'm sorry, what is even happening here? And why would you put me in a sub? Like, that just seems so far-fetched, but you know what, it's fine. Fine, Fontaine. <laughs> Drain Adam from Fontaine. Fontaine has infused himself with a massive dose of Adam. Your only hope of killing him is to drain the Adam out of him. When he is in the Adam Inducer device, you can drain his Adam. He will only return to the Inducer and physically weaken. Okay, so I have to do it four times, it looks like. Go! Go now! Hit him with the needle! Oh my gosh! She's like a full on monster! No! and dramatic. There it is! I called 
you back, showed you what you was, what you was capable of. Even that life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed up, and I tattooed inside your head. Yeah. Now if you don't call that family, I know what it is. And now, Okay, I think he's dead. Please stop. They offered you this city. And you refused it. And what did you do instead? What I've come to expect of you. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. A chance to learn. To find love. To live. And in the end, what was your reward? You never said. But I think I know. A family. Oh. <laughs> it just, it's over. <laughs> oh, that was a really sweet ending. I didn't actually expect to get a happy ending, but I got one. I expected to be stuck in a, in a, in a big daddy forever and Tenenbaum to, like, take over and, like... I don't know, <laughs> expand her little sister plasmid situation across the globe that actually made no sense whatsoever. But I did not expect a happy ending. I'm all choked up a little bit because that was really sweet. Oh, that was a really sweet ending. And the little sisters killed Fontaine. That was kind of messed up, but I guess, oh. Okay, but it, you know what? It fits with Bioshock. It, it does fit. But hey, we finished the game on Christmas. I'm so excited. <laughs> As usual, I don't have anything prepared for the end of the game, but I'll, I'll do my normal blurb like I, I normally do. But I really like this game. I expected it honestly to be a whole lot scarier and a whole lot creepier. <laughs> there are plenty of jump scares. There was plenty of creep, but I expected it to be amped up a whole lot higher than this. But maybe in the next couple games it gets there. But I I, I did like it. I really liked it. I, I I do like first person shooters, but I like first person shooters with a story. I'm not a I'm not a game mechanic girl. I'm a story girl who who likes some game mechanics on the side. And I really like the story. I liked how it kind of flowed through everything. You were pushed to every zone. It was very it seemed very organic and how it was done. There are a few things I have questions on, like so Fontaine, you know, somehow creates you and takes and, and builds you a baby and, and mind controls and all this sort of genetic magicness, but then he sends you away to live a life and then somehow brings you back, orchestrates a, a plane crash, and you coming back to Rapture so you can kill your dad, but even then Fontaine didn't make you kill your dad. I mean, kind of, I guess you were still under mind control, but like really like your dad forced you to kill, kill, kill him. It's, there are just some things where I'm just like, that doesn't, why would you send the kid away? Why not just keep him and like, you know, indoctrinate him into your, you know, belief system that, you know, he was evil. But why also did you fake your death? Why didn't you just take out Andrew Ryan to begin with? Like, I feel like it's extremely convoluted and complicated. It's a good story. Don't get me wrong. But I'm like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you like overcomplicated things, Montaigne. You should totally have simplified it. But it was a good story. I was interested. I, I became very emotionally attached to little sisters. <laughs> and I like the big daddies, Mr. Bubbles. It was really, I mean, like, it's so messed up, but it's so cute. Their relationship, it's adorable how they look after her. And like, they pick her up and protect her. And they help her out of the hole in the wall. And I I, I like that. I don't get Tenenbaum. Like, I don't. I, is she sorry or is she sorry she got caught? She's sorry she got dumped and this is her revenge. I, I love the reveal of Atlas to Fontaine. Did not see that coming. And that uh, Andrew Ryan was your dad. Did, don't, didn't see that. But I, I'm kind of oblivious to lots of things. But let's see. Su Chong is, was appropriately, like, awful. <laughs> 
don't like that evil scientist twirling his like mustache in the corner, like thinking of all the horrible things he could do to people. That was good. Let's see, I'm trying to think who else. I loved the recordings. I loved the recordings made the game for me. It's one of those like little things that they like to fall out with like the terminals or like the notes that you find. And I love that it was a recording. So like you could, you know, you could hear the, there was some acting in it. There was, you know, the, you could hear the characters like express emotion. Um, Diane McClintock though, man, she, that's the one that was the biggest. She went from the pampered mistress kind of of Andrew Ryan to like a vigilante trying to take him out and you know, taking down big daddies and and killing little sisters for the atom. And I'm still like surprised at that one. But I definitely have to agree with uh, one, of, one of the people in the comments that the Fort Frolic was definitely the best area. Uh, Sandra Cohen, all of that. I think that was probably my favorite part. The the getting the parts for the big daddy was was interesting, but it wasn't I don't know. It was it was kind of like just go here and pick this up, go here, pick this up. But I definitely liked Fort Frolic and the white rabbit creepiness. I feel like that was the creepiest part of the whole game. Uh, the jump scares though, those were those were pretty good though, when they would play dead and then jump up. And that, that was always good. Um, let's see, what else do I normally talk about? Graphics was okay. I, I'm the ninny who didn't install the remastered version, which will be corrected in the in the next game, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But the graphics were fine. I didn't have any, any graphical glitches as much as audio glitches, because I felt like there were definitely times in the game where there's a pretty big cut. I, I don't know. I try to make my, my cuts not as obvious as, I mean, I know that they're there, so they're obvious to me, but I try to make it seamless. But there are times where I have to not just reload, I have to kill the whole game, like exit out of the game completely to Windows <laughs> and then restart it to get the audio to correct because it just kind of pops in and out. I'm assuming that's because it's the original version versus the remastered. But anyway, back to the graphics. The graphics were fine. I mean, they did not unimmerse me from the game. Like they weren't, there weren't a lot of them to begin with. It's not like it was a cutscene heavy game like Mass Effect or even Outer Worlds or anything like that. But this game is not going to compare to those because those are so much more updated. I am, again, like I said, interested to see what the remastered version looks like of this game as well. I am tempted to go and replay this game, not like right this second, but probably on my own, but replay it on the remastered and also replay it where I don't save any little sisters because I wonder if that's going to affect the ending. I'm all over the place with my comments right now, I'm aware, because I wonder if I got a happy ending because I was nice to the little sisters. I wonder if I wasn't nice to the little sisters, how much Tenenbaum would have helped me? Would I still have killed Fontaine? And would I have had a happy ending? I feel like I wouldn't have. Like I might do that sooner rather than later because the game's not too terribly long and I feel like a replay would go a lot quicker. Plus I wouldn't feel the need to explore everywhere because I've already done it before. But anyway, that's a whole, I, I'm, I'm still very much off topic. So I did graphics, story characters, uh, gameplay was fine. You know, first person shooter, it wasn't super complicated. I did like the addition of the different powers, the plasmids. I did tend to use the same gun as usual, like as I do. I tend to find the one that I like the most. Although I did mix it up some, I had shotgun. I really liked the flamethrower when it came to the big daddies. I feel like that worked really well, especially after it had been upgraded. But I, I did also like the different powers. Uh, I tended to use the electricity one the most, but at the end, it was nice to have like an ice option and a fire one. I feel like it made that boss fight a whole lot easier. It wasn't very complicated to begin with, but I think I was on normal. So, you know, I it shouldn't be overly complicated. But I also think what helped was collecting all of the upgrades for the, your weapons and all the upgrades for your Adam and your health and your Eve and all of those things probably made that last fight a whole heck of a lot easier than if you didn't do all that. Let's see, what else do I talk about? Oh, bugs. I should talk about bugs. There were bugs in the game. Again, I'm not sure how much of it is because I didn't install the remastered one, but I had lots of crashes to desktop. I had lots of uh, audio problems that I had to, you know, reload, not just reload, but kill the game and completely reload, which was, it wasn't bad, but it was definitely getting at least once a video towards the end of like the last five or six videos, I'd have to do it at least once per video, which isn't that big of a deal, but it's definitely like, ugh, well, let me kill the game and, and reboot it and hopefully I can get there. But thankfully, it didn't cause it to where I couldn't finish the game because that was always my biggest concern is that any any bugs or glitches 
would make it impossible for me to finish the game, which would then mean <laughs> I would have to redo it really quickly, or I would have to load in the remastered version and do it that way. But thankfully, we got through it. So that's like I, as long as the the any bugs in a game, as long as it doesn't impact my playing experience to where I can't finish the game and finish the story, I'm I'm okay with because it's fine. Like bugs happen. It's it's a video game. It's, it's bound to happen. Anyway, I think that's everything that I want to talk about for Bioshock. I really liked it. I'm I'm really glad it was the game you guys voted on. It's been on my list for a while, but um, I'm glad this was 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 the first community voted game to play. It was super fun. But that brings us to what is next. And what is next is going to be Bioshock 2 on Tuesday. I do plan on playing Bioshock 2 and Bioshock Infinite. I'm not sure why they didn't just call it Bioshock 3. That seems weird, but like, whatever. But I had a great time with Bioshock and I'm really excited to see where they take the story and the game series in the future. So, so yeah, that's what's going to happen next. <laughs> but as always, I do want to thank all of you so very much for coming along with me on my Bioshock journey, and I hope you will continue to do so in the future. I do so appreciate all of your likes, all of your comments, all of your views, all of your subs. It's it does mean quite a bit to me, and I'm and I'm I'm glad you seem to be enjoying the series, which is wonderful. <laughs> and I think I've definitely rambled on long enough for today. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again on Tuesday with another new Bioshock video.